Hey guys. Okay, so there's a a popular saying that people use um, by mentioning that no one can save the earth. You know, one person can't save the earth. Now, we all know that the earth, which they will say, you know, no one can save the world. Um, that sounds better. Um, the world is the earth. And we we all know that, you know, we use the earth and the world and we refer that to people when we say no one can save the earth um, or no one can save the world, you know, so stop trying to save the world and stop trying to save the earth. Well, if you look at that, you know, in reality, you know, that is all hitting meaning for people. So we all know what people mean whenever they say um, you can't save the world. Okay, we that's what they mean. They're they're talk, literally talking about the people. And the people they are mentioning, most people mean that um, it's because, you know, you can tell someone how to survive and survive in a way that will allow them to prosper the correct way um, instead of going down the wrong path and not prospering in the way that God wants them to prosper or that God would like for them to prosper because God wants you to be protected. And some people make decisions and they aren't so protected. They are protected in different ways, but in, you know, the best way of, that they can be protected as possible. You know, some people um, haven't reached that level because of certain paths that they have already taken. So a person that is told how to do certain things in a different way or in a certain way to allow them to prosper in the right way, which which means when I say prosper, I'm meaning to um, be nourished, be healthy, um, stay unharmed, um, make the right choices and, and go in the right direction so that they won't have to worry about, you know, suffering, you know, you can teach people how not to suffer and to do the right things in order to have a good lifestyle. Um, but some people, however, have, you know, lifestyles that aren't considered righteous or aren't considered easygoing or aren't considered um, something that they really desired that, you um, which was something that they would have to go through in life that wasn't, you know, traumatizing or anything like that. No one wants a traumatizing lifestyle. So it's almost like when you have, whenever you have the gospel, which is already here on earth, and the different type of structures in order to get people to live a righteous lifestyle, like eating the right foods, not eating animals. Um, that's the reason why people are becoming sick because. They're not consuming and digesting natural foods because our bodies heal from natural foods. So whenever we eat natural foods and take herbs and drink fresh water, you know, our body is healed. Therefore, for the people who aren't able to eat natural foods, they are considered the ones who would rely on medicines that are chemical based, but in reality, the chemicals is to break off of the bad toxins in their body that they have consumed. Plus it is ingredients inside those medicines that are natural that will give you both. And some people are saying, well, you know, well, why not just give us the one ingredient that isn't chemical based because the chemicals is not good for our body because it's not natural. And, you know, we can tell people, you know, that this is the way of living. This is the way of um, having uh, a prosperous lifestyle so that people will be healthy. They can live longer, um, say goodbye to their doctor bills. I mean, really, because what's the use of going to the hospital unless you've broken a leg or something 
or got hit by a car? I and mean, what are the chances of that? You know, even births were natural. I mean, even if you did have something that, you know, traumatic happened to you, believe it or not, there are natural remedies for whatever it is. You know, it's just that you and your people and the people around you become the doctor because whatever the doctor is doing, they have developed um, practices that involved um, chemical based medicines and other techniques to get someone to be healed over time throughout the years. But we already have these practices within us um, without even going to school. Someone can just literally teach us on the street and we would know the same practices as a doctor would, if not better, because we're keeping we're, t we're keeping the righteous way of healing someone naturally versus out there with the different scientific experiments. Now, I'm not saying that they won't work, but if you stay with the natural solutions, then the more less problems you would have. And um, so it's almost like, you know, because I, I know I received a... Um, I didn't get this directly, but, you know, I hear, you know, you know, some people, they use a term, you know, you can't save the world. And, and sometimes when I'm on YouTube, I see that on people's videos. They say you can't save the world. Um, or they may say, you know, um, stop trying to save the earth or save the world. Now, the earth and stop trying to save the world. Now, if you want to go. Now, we all know that when they say you can't save the world, they're talking about people not anything else. Some are thinking about everything else. Um, but the earth, yeah, you can. You know, you can stop people from cutting down trees. You know, it's it's the people. You know, you can stop people from harming the earth uh, by not killing the animals. You know, it, it is the people. Um, you know, and, and polluting the waters and things like that. Like, we can stop that. It is the people. And yes, we know that the reason why people use these terms that you can't save the earth or you can't save the world, so stop trying to save the earth and stop trying to save the world, is because, you know, some people you can tell them the righteous way of living and, you know, they won't they will not do it because, you know, they were told to continue with the practices and a lot of times, you know, back then, before I was even born, these practices of taking down the trees, um, you know, harming animals so that we can eat when really in actuality, we can survive off natural foods and live longer, healthier and better without animals. Um, <laughs> you know, um, and there are other things that you can tell someone um, just like taxes and things like that, you know, people are being taxed instead of just on the dollar because, you know, that was a, a rule that was set and a, a structure and a routine that was set from years ago from people that were here way before us. So we can tell them, you know, a better way of living. And, you know, some people may not, you know, proceed with that practice. You know, and it's it was really funny because I thought about it for a while and I said, hmm, you can't save the earth. And that makes sense because, you know, some people aren't going to follow. But it's funny because, um, you know, some of the individuals who make that statement, now is it your fault? Because remember, that statement was here and was created way before you were born. So everyone that is alive right now, everything that we are doing right now, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be from eating animals, from taking medications instead of taking the natural medicines, um, for standing on your feet at work all day instead of finding something else to do, from paying taxes when you worked for that money, and, and everything that you feel like you are um, in the middle of and you, something that you feel like you've taken a part of that society and the people are shaming and thinking it's wrong including people who aren't in society just you you know um, it is not your fault remember everything was designed before we even came on earth 
and everybody that's living now is just repeating certain things and practices and routines that were here from years ago because they feel like that is the right thing to do. But they forget that we are the ones that can change and have a new system and people can be free and live their lives without living the enslaved structure that was in place years ago, you know, because the people that made the rules, you know, are dead. You know, they are. And we're the only ones alive. And some people are fearful of changing it because they feel like the world is going to be in, create, in complete chaos. And in actuality, you know, you can create your own world. In actuality, once people figure out that, you know, they're not being taxed for their money at work, they get to spend their money. Um, they no longer have to be sick because there's no animals to eat. There's just natural foods that taste really good. Like there's tons of vegan foods that taste like chicken now, like tons of food, like cauliflower chicken or, um, you know, there's just so many different type of foods that taste like fried chicken and people love it. And it's like, I wonder if this restaurant can become 100% vegan. People would love it. They will, they won't, they will no longer be sick and things like that will, will allow people to you know, feel good about themselves, you know, and it's different things that can allow people to be rich and wealthy, save their money. Um, they can spend more money, you know, and, you know, the whole entire freedom structure would be replaced with a newer system that will allow people to be freer than they ever would have imagined. And that is something that everyone would love. Everyone would relate to. Now, many years ago, a lot of people would, would agree. And some, some people wouldn't because it wasn't introduced as much as it is being introduced today. Now that everyone knows about how eating natural foods is going to make you feel healthier, make you be healthier, um, live longer, and... Um, keeping the money that you worked for so hard for instead of being taxed, then waiting to the end of the year to get some of your money back, but then get taxed off of that. Why not just go ahead and get all of the money that you make for regardless? You know, if you want to give someone a check at the end of the year still just for going to work for a year, yeah, that'd be great. That'll be a new system, you know? And a lot of people, um, where some people feel like, you know, that's impossible because they feel like the world would be in complete chaos. But that's only if we kept the old system. If we change the system and allow people just to get the money that they worked so hard for, then there, there would be no you owe us and this and that or anything, you know, because everyone would be free and everyone, everyone would stay in their own, you know, realm, their own mindset within their own space because there's no need for them to be in someone else's space because they're not trying to get anything from that person. They have everything that they need. And that's health, that's the money, that's um, land, that's their own place of live, you know, and it's all happening now. So um, it was funny to me because whenever I watched, you know, certain or listened to certain people say that, um, like for instance, some people had channels and they would post, you can't save the world. And, you know, it could be someone could be, you know, making YouTube videos every single day and um, they they will be encouraging people every single day. And that's a fantastic. But why are they encouraging people every single day? You know, it's to reach someone. And that would be to save the world, to save the people in the world, you know. Um, so for someone who encourages someone every single day, they have to ask themselves, you know, why do they encourage people every single day and still use the term you can't save the world well that's because you know some people aren't going to take the information and apply it to their lives and be successful with it as much as some other people will um and then i thought it was funny because some people will say you can't save the world so stop trying to and it's like well now that sounds it's a little bit aggressive <laughs> It sounds just a little bit aggressive because um, because now that person, you know, is continuing to encourage people still. And if someone was to tell that person 
to stop encouraging people, then that would just mean, you know, they're, they need to stop trying to save the world because at the end of the day, that's what you want to do. You want to save the world. <laughs> so, you know, it may sound a little silly when someone says, you know, um, stop trying to save the world or you can't save the world, you know, in actuality, you can because the gospel pretty much saved the world. Um, for people to know how to treat each other, that pre that's pretty much saving the world, you know. For people to know that, you know, natural food is your medicine instead of taking the medicines that they have created over the years to help certain individuals instead of doing the natural way, then. You know, if no one knew that, then a lot, a lot of people would just be consuming a lot of medicine and they will be, you know, they wouldn't get the full benefit of the the healing because the chemicals that is inside of the medicine is causing organs to fail. So if you just give them 100% natural medicine, then their organs will have no choices, no, excuse me, no chances of failing because it's 100% medicine. <laughs> and I thought that was really, really funny, you know, and very informational. So, you know, by repeating that, yeah, you will end up saving the world with giving out information. So, you know, I thought it was very funny because I've heard, I've, I heard one person say, stop trying to save the world. You can't save the world. It's like, you know, we're not trying to, you know, we know that, you know, some people, you know, aren't going to do that, but they have to look at themselves and determine if they can use stop trying to save the world as a turn for someone else to listen, then they should use that term for themselves because they continue to repeat encouraging people on YouTube every single day. And any other platform may not just be YouTube, you know. Um, you know, it's a reason why they're doing it. And the reason why they're doing it because they want it to reach someone. The reason why they're encouraging someone um, it's because they wanted to reach someone to save them and for someone to use, stop trying to save the world for them, they would say no, because this, this, I have to continue to encourage people because it's going to uplift them and make them a better person. Well, then we shouldn't really be using the term. You can't save the world. You know, we can, but it sounds just a little bit silly. <laughs> to to actually use that because you can save the world you can by not holding information that's helpful back from people that can be healed from it <laughs> see you guys later that's all i wanted to say but thank you so much <laughs>